I play um, uh, Chad. He's a guitar playing roving roustabout with a song in his soul and a love for the ladies. It's like my mama used to say a man doesn't know he's in love until a woman tells him that he is. This is more uh, of a throwback to the jukebox musicals that were being done, taking popular songs and creating stories around them. So the challenge is to do something with the music and, as a purpose, integrate it into the story. The thing that's remarkable about this show, which I hope people will see, is that rather than inserting a song because they love the song. These songs actually do what songs are supposed to do in a musical, when they're written for a musical, which is they progress the plot. They reveal character. It is so witty. People are not even going to be prepared. Everyone likes to say, oh, good vibrations, and all shook up, and fine, whatever. But when you come in there, after like five minutes, you're going to be sucked into this world. And it's, it's, so, it's so good. It has so much heart. You have to be a really cynical bastard to not be touched by it. We're using music from every aspect of his career. So we have to find ways to kind of umbrella them and kind of create our own world that, that still recognize the, the, uh, the, the soul and heart of these songs. I really worked from the songs first. I didn't create a story. I really analyzed these songs and said, what did they say? And the songs were essentially about being in love, being either in love, out of love, in some form of love. And I really wanted, so, so I thought, okay, the song has to explore love in all its factions. And when I got the idea of tying that to the Shakespeare comedies, which really does the same things, that's when I got inspired to kind of figure out what this show was. It's sort of got some Midsummer Night's Dream in there, and it's got some Twelfth Night, and it's got some As You Like It. It was pretty clear to me early on that Elvis plus Shakespeare was an interesting, fun musical to be had. Quote Shakespeare and feel me like a banana. <laughs> Miss Sandra, I've never been with a woman before. When you take the, the Shakespeare sort of mold and uh, infuse it with that kind of kind of magic, for instance, that you'd have in Midsummer Night's Dream or Twelfth Night, you know, that's that's a, a, a really good way to add this other element of, uh, of leather jackets and motorcycles and, and rock and roll Elvis Presley music. Whether you've known Elvis or whether you haven't known Elvis, just the arrangements that Stephen Aramis has done, he's made it exciting and, and still contemporary, but keeping you know, the theme of the music behind it. I think people are going to love it. I have to say I've become a convert because prior to do, working on this, I was not that familiar with the Elvis canon. And, you know, I didn't really get it. And the fact that these songs were not about bubblegum and sugar. Do you know what I mean? They were about difficult things to deal with. He was an, an innovator, he was an inventor, and and, uh, and and everyone sort of has taken after him. I remember it all perfectly well. I played classical music as a kid, and then Rodgers and Hammerstein when I got older. There are parts of me that are moving in this play that have never moved before on stage, so it's fun to be doing rock and roll. had this uh, diverse a songbook you know I mean it's like it's like all these different genres and it, it, of music it's 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 really fun Elvis's uh, uh, music changed everything about America he really started 
everything. I was raised on Elvis music, and I'm not just saying that. My parents, like we, in my family, we didn't listen to Christmas carols. We listened to Elvis Blue Christmas. On Sundays after church, we would come home, and of course the movies would be Elvis movies. You know, Girls, 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 Jailhouse Rock, all of those movies. And I would sit there and I would watch them. I, I just thought, I thought he was incredible. I thought, oh, he sings like us. Sweet. There's a real sweet thing that it rides on that's very pleasant for audiences, I think. They're moved and don't expect to be. Magical. It's, um, I mean, super talented, super nice, and super positive. Like, the best part since we've been rehearsing this November has just been everybody's attitude is so enthusiastic, and I think that goes such a long way, you know, especially when it's a new show and, you know, you're, things are changing every day. And so everybody's just rolling with the punches, and, and we're having a great time. Falling. 